Hello everyone, how are you all doing? I trust that you all are doing great and you're having a wonderful time. So thank you and a very warm welcome to another episode of Brion Squaddies. And well, today let's talk about the fact that Megan and Harry were outside enjoying themselves, minding their business, and someone took a photo or even a video of Harry and Megan having a good time and enjoying themselves at the Katy Perry concert. And Harry and Meghan were not bothering anyone. They were not using any taxpayer money to uh, enjoy themselves or even attend the event. Yet, this has become all that the British media is talking about. They have spent... Um, Almost two days right now talking about Harry and Meghan being at that event and it's not normal at all because they have forgotten about their working royals who spend their taxpayer money doing whatever they do. William is in Singapore right now but the British media is ignoring that story. We also have the flop tour of Charles and Camilla to Kenya but the British media won't talk about that. In fact, there are a lot of disgusting stories about Camilla and Charles' visit to Kenya. But you know what? The British media is just choosing not to talk about that. But instead, focus on two people who are not even working members of the royal family. Two people who are funding their lifestyles and people who are minding their business. I think I'll spare the story about the racism that some people actually received on Charles and Camilla's visit to Kenya. I'll spare that for another video, but today let's talk about what this delusional British press is talking about. So they're still whining about Harry and Meghan. So the Times magazine had written this article, and I'm just going to read you some of the sections of this article. So in one part, they talked about Harry and Meghan taking their kids for trick and treating in Montecito. And this is what they wrote. You get literally hundreds and hundreds of kids in costumes, so I'm sure that Harry and Meghan felt that was a safe place to be. Obviously, with their bodyguards with guns in tow, which is not very Montecito, says Richard Miniards. A British journalist who lives down the road from the Sussexes, it's the ideal time to take the kids out so they would not be recognized. That is what Richard said. And to me, it's very disturbing how it's like these people are trying to say that Harry and Meghan should not be walking around with their security and Harry and Meghan should also not cover the faces of their kids. After everything that they have done to Harry and Meghan, after all the threats that, have, that Harry and Meghan have been exposed to together with their kids, they still don't want Harry and Meghan to cover the faces of their kids and not to have security. Are these people serious? Also, they talked about the Samantha Merkel BS. Well, I don't even want to go further into that. They are talking about how Samantha Merkel will be back in court in Florida, launching a, a last-ditch attempt to sue Meghan on Wednesday. Personally, I believe that the Samantha Merkel case is just a very weak case. Like, what exactly is Samantha Merkel suing Meghan for? After all, everything that Meghan said in the Netflix documentary and even in the Oprah interview was all true. So really, I find this a very weak case and I know very well that Meghan is going to win all this. And another part which is really delusional is the part where Graydon Carter, who seems to really hate Harry and Meghan, said that I would measure the duration of the marriage in years rather than decades. That is when talking about Harry and Meghan's marriage. I mean, when will these people ever understand that Harry and Meghan were meant to be? They keep projecting William and Kate's marriage onto Harry and Meghan. And I'm really, really glad that people like uh, Graydon Carter are not on the side of Harry and Meghan because if they were, I'd actually be really worried. 
These are people with very questionable characters. Graydon Carter, first of all, is the same person who provided cover for Jeffrey Epstein while he was editor of Vanity Fair. So no, I, I'm not actually surprised that such people are talking bad about Harry and Meghan because they are people who lack morals and any kind of dignity. And for how long has he actually been married to even say such things about Harry and Meghan's marriage? Also, he added saying that, I think she has run rings around poor Harry and gotten what she wanted, notoriety, money, and a title. His usefulness to her diminishes daily. And even added saying that, if there is a real Housewives of Montecito show in the works, she'd be a shoe in. Well, I really find it disgusting what these people think about Megan. I think that if they want to say something about Megan, they should first educate themselves about who Megan really is and whom she was before she even met Prince Harry. Megan had a very successful life. She had a good career. She was very much fulfilled before she met Prince Harry. So whatever these people are saying, I'm sure that they are talking about Kate Middleton because there's no way on earth that they are actually talking about the same Megan whom all of us know. The most delusional thing is how these people keep predicting a divorce. They're like, Harry and Meghan are getting a divorce next week and the next time they're like, okay, okay, it's going to be by the end of the year. The next time you'll then hear them saying, no, no, probably within the next two years, okay, within five years for sure. And then right now they're like, sure, it may be a decade, but for sure it's coming. And there's nothing that shows the wickedness of these people more than how they keep predicting the demise of a happy marriage with young children. I mean, how can you even wish that on a happy couple with two young children below five years? You've got to be a very wicked person and these people have shown to be that. And as you've seen over and over again, it's usually these old white men and the middle-aged older white women who keep throwing head towards Meghan and Harry, and especially at Meghan. These speculations on what projects Meghan will author or what she will publish will be done in good time and when Meghan is ready and not a day before. So these people need to shut their mouths and wait for Megan to make the announcement by herself. And it's also very interesting that these are the same people who pay their bills by talking about Megan. And then they try to project this on Megan, trying to say how Megan is a gold digger. Oh, please. Megan is a very hardworking woman. And these folks are really so transactional that they project that onto Megan. So we are supposed to believe that Megan cares so little about the love of her life, the father of her two young children, that all she wants is the notoriety, money, and a title? Come on! Have these people never seen true love before? Haven't they ever experienced true love before? Well, I'm not even surprised because most of the people who talk negatively about Harry and Meghan are people who are very bitter and probably their lives are just falling apart. And it's very laughable that they say this considering that the press keeps saying that notoriety has not been positive, that the money is drying up for Harry and Meghan and that their titles will be taken away. They keep, uh, they keep contradicting themselves. They should stick to one story for Christ's sake. And Carter's comments just show that he is not only miserable, but also a very bitter person. He should get a life for Christ's sake. We all know who are the social climbers and clearly it's not Harry and Meghan. We know who keep attaching themselves to 
Harry and Meghan's name every time that they want to do something and it's not Harry and Meghan, it is the other members of the royal family. So they should, actually the media needs to speak the truth and stop projecting all these things on Harry and Meghan because we all know that Harry and Meghan are just living their best lives, enjoying their lives and minding their own business. So yeah, that's what I'm going to say for today. Kindly let me know your opinion concerning this and then I'll see you all squaddies on the next podcast. Have a wonderful and amazing day. Goodbye.